Hey guys, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge, and we've got an unboxing video. A Valentine's Day box with, I think, four, knife, four knives in it. Also, after you see the unboxing of this video, I'll show you a tiny video, hopefully it's not too long, of how I fixed that uh, Persian-style fixed blade by uh, Sandra and you with that finger twirl that was nipping the corners of my finger, or the edge of my finger, by its corner. So... Both things are coming up in this video. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. Let's take this tape out of the way. Well, let's open it this way. Here's a pair of knives. Here's a... Ooh, a buck! Woohoo! And, ta-da, my very first browse blades, or browse blades. Uh, we'll look at this last. You might be interested in that. First, let's take a look at these two Kubi knives that I've been waiting for. Uh, oh, looks like they've had two different print runs with their uh, boxes, two different colors of yellow there. That's very common to have happen. Uh, this is the KU-210, and uh, let's see, there we go. Kubi sent these to me directly from their, uh, from them. I'm not sure how directly, but they sent it to me. So we've got a bottle opener top here, Tanto style blade, high flat grind, well, pretty close enough to be called a full flat grind, actually, because with the swedge here, Makes it not be a, a a top there, a flat area. G10, backspacer, pocket clip. That's a nice stiff pocket clip. Well, these are nice. They, they are cold and stiff. Uh, it's been minus 20 degrees Celsius out. And I just got inside and these have not warmed up yet. So uh, D2 steel on this. A lot of uh, shaping done on these handle scales. Hopefully you can see a lot of that. I like that. That's done really well. And yes, uh, these screws are Torx screws, even though they look like they're really fancy pivot screws, proprietary stuff. They're not. They're not. Thumb pad here with some jimping on it. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm looking forward to reviewing that guy. And this one, this one is the... Um, no, the model number's not on that side there. Anyways, it's one of their smaller ones, sub three inches, most definitely, and it's a little chubby. This is a cool looking knife. This is sort of a Tanto-esque style blade. We've got a belly on the leading edge and then a flat edge down here, a swedge up there again, some uh, soft jimping on the spine there, liner lock, just like this other one, uh, and we've got a steel backspacer that becomes this... Uh, lanyard hole and that's quite the persuader right there if you ask me <laughs> if you just have you know a small knife in your hand and you want to get somebody to do what you want them to do without you know cutting them <laughs> flips like beautiful great detent yeah very good detent on there and uh, you can push straight down pretty much because it's got a nice flat top with some jimping all the way around that flipper tab. That's nice. Of course, light switch method as well. Also D2 steel. So these two Kubi knives with D2 steel will be coming to you soon. This buck knife, what could I possibly want a buck knife for? Well, this is finally getting one of their uh, revisions of the 110. This is the 110 Slim, and I got it in this nice blue color. Uh, and we've got a stonewashed blade, and, you know, their classic clip point style, thumb studs now, pocket clip that goes right and left, and uh, the lock is right at the very end. So lockup is super solid, very, very solid. And, um, you know, I heard some really good reports about this knife, so I finally had to get myself one of them to uh, review. And uh, there's a couple versions of the 110 one of the versions of the 110 that's been modified that 
gets some pretty poor reviews, but this style, from what I've seen, and I don't watch very many reviews. Uh, I think I've seen one, Kevin Cleary's review on this. And uh, I figured I want to take a good look at that pocket clip. That's a deep carry. And uh, we'll be looking at that. Now, what do I got from Browse Blades? What can I possibly get for a budget price from Browse Blades? Well, they've now got an, uh, a, a budget line, if you will, of knives. And uh, this is one of them. I don't remember off the top of my head the exact price of this thing, but uh, take a look at that. They've got a cutout section here that you can use for you know, your thumb to open the knife that way if you want to without having a thumb stud. Or you can use a flipper tab. Oh, the detent on this is softer than I'd like. You have to use some wrist action. Let's see, the deep tent ball looks like it sinks all the way in. Maybe the deep tent ball is a little small. I don't know. I'll take a look at that. I'll find out why, if I can, why that detent is not very strong. But we've got uh, recessed liners. So you can just see the G10 back here. No lanyard hole. If you really wanted to, you could tie off of these posts here with a small piece of paracord. Well, if you wrapped around both of them, you could get standard size paracord if you really wanted something. And uh, it's a right side only pocket clip. Fills the hand. I like this sort of harpoon style. There's a little bit of a rise right there before it comes back down. So it does have a little bit of a harpoon style blade here. Satin finish. And uh, I forget what the steel's supposed to be. I'll get you all of those specs when I do the full review of this thing. One thing I really like is these flush screws. That's, I really like that. Okay, so there's those four knives and reviews of these will be coming to you, you know, as soon as they can fit into the schedule. So let's close these guys up. And now for just a little bit of footage to show you how I went about taking this corner off so I could very quickly put my hand in there without risk getting a little nick every time I do it. Keep watching. Okay, so I've got it set up here. I know it doesn't look great uh, just because it's so busy and so small things, it's just hard to show in the video. But the first thing that I did was I made sure this stone was 90 degrees to the knife and I made sure the knife was 90 degrees to the table or 90 even with this flat angle here. So get that angle right there and make sure that this angle on this is the same and then that this is 90 degrees from that. So that's all done. And now all I did was take a very uh, uh, gritty stone. This is at 120 and all that I really have to do is be super careful to keep it flat instead of turning it from one side or another and just take off a little bit of this edge, uh, this corner right here. Oh, one other thing that I did was I took the angle of the knife this way and I tilted it back about 15 degrees from straight up and down because if I go straight up and down, I won't take the corner off. So I just want to take that corner off, so I knocked it over about 15 degrees. I'm using very little pressure because I don't want to dig a hole in the stone. I just want to start taking a little bit of that corner off. And that's all I'm going to do. Going to go through the grits. I'll get close to where I like it, and then I'm going to start putting on finer and finer stones. I know that each successive finer stone will take off more metal, so I don't go to the place I want and then go finer, because that means I'll go even further. I stop before I'm at that spot, and then I start getting finer. So I don't have to show you that part. I'll show you the end, though. Uh, this is a thousand grit stone. Yes, I did compensate for it being thinner than the other one. And uh, just polish off the end of it a little bit. I did not round the corner off because I don't want to make it dull. If I 
want to do that, I can do that later. Uh, a small change as possible, see if I like it. I can always take off more steel later on, but you can never take off less. You can't put steel back on, so do a very small change, and then try it out for a couple of days, see if you like it, and then if you need to take off more steel, you can, but the rule of thumb is always make a tiny change, test it out for a while, and then if you need to, make another tiny change, and so on. So I can take it off of here now, and uh, I'll show you what I got. So just putting in my hand on it, you know, I'm not afraid of quickly putting it in my hand now. You know, I can switch hands quickly, and I'm not nervous about getting cut. I haven't gotten nicked any one of these times yet, just switching hands quickly. So it's beautiful. I don't know if you can see or not, but there's just a little bit of a... Let's see if I can get it to focus here. There's just a little bit of a space there. You can see some light or some darkness there. I think I really like it now. So that's all it takes to make a minor change. Don't be afraid to adjust your knives. And remember, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb.